This video will make you into a better triathlete by transferring or converting your pool, fitness and speed into open water success. For years I've struggled with why my swimming in the pool isn't converting into being a good triathlon swimmer. It just made no sense to me whatsoever. I could swim a 409 for a 400 meter race. I was being spat out the back of all of these swim groups in triathlon in like the elite and professional fields. nowhere near that. They couldn't swim anywhere near that fast. I, I know they couldn't because I trained with them and they were just completely and utterly dicking me when it came to a race. And not only that, I couldn't ride my bike afterwards either. I was absolute spaghetti. I couldn't put out any power, nothing like what I could see in my training and it just made no sense. What was happening is that I was filling up with a lot of lactic acid because I couldn't pace myself within that first 400 meters and I wasn't dealing very well with the commotion and my stroke was going to pot and yeah, my, my arms were just tiring out far too quickly and filling up with that lactic acid, which is so painful. So I had to rectify it somehow, so I used these three tips. Intensity control within sessions, so making sure that it was all monitored and controlled. A good mi mixture of tempo and threshold within those sessions, and then pacing in the race itself. Not forgetting a sprinkle of zone two, and by a sprinkle I mean the majority is zone two, and then just making sure that the other threshold and tempo sessions are placed in the right place. Now, it took me years to actually realize that this was what was going on, but it didn't take too long to actually rectify it. So over a season, I basically managed to really control that intensity, not go too hard, so that I wasn't able to produce as much lactic acid. And therefore, when I went to race and actually paced myself correctly, it converted really well. And on top of that, I was using the right equipment within a races. Like I think that I had so many issues with the wetsuit that I was using. I had the wrong size, it was restrictive, and it was actually causing far more kind of pain and restriction around the shoulders than it needed to. So I changed that, I changed my training, I changed the intensity control, and all of that came together almost within a season or two. And all of a sudden I was going from being spat out the back of these packs to actually being near the front or at least within the top 10 of these fast paced ITU races, let alone when I went into long course and I was actually able to stay at the front of the race and come out in the top three. And that's completely game-changing. That allows me then to be in the race for, for a lot longer, basically from the start, and not having to absolutely pelt the first bit of the bike to get near the front. I'm already there. I don't think I can quite describe how frustrating it is to have been so good in the pool, or so good, it's all relative, isn't it? But a lot better in the pool than open water and not being able to convert that for so long. And then all of a sudden I've managed to just tweak a few things and it's now translating well. Those are years that I've lost almost to not having the right training and doing the wrong thing and not being able to execute, but that's experience, isn't it? And I'm just learning as I go. Triathlon is just a whole learning experience, but hopefully I'm getting there and hopefully over the next season or two, I'll be able to carry on converting and translating my pool fitness into that open water success as well.
How are we feeling about long course? Good. Now, my, go my well. shoulders are a little bit today. My shoulders are absolutely mashed. They're not mashed, but they're starting to hurt today. <coughs> You're recovering from illness, then. No, I wasn't sick. <laughs> recovering from illness. Yeah, I was never sick in the first place. Taking a tacky recovery week. <laughs> <laughs> How are you coping? Fine, yeah. Second day. Second day in Nick. <laughs> Ready to do three hours LT1 now. On the bike. On the bike, so yeah. I quite like swimming this pool though. It's a fast pool. I feel like I'm doing like, I don't know, because the sun comes in. Yeah. Just feel the minerals in my arm and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the reverse osmosis after 20 minutes. You've got a pretty good stroke for long course though. It's quite high turnover and... Lopey. Yeah, and not massive catch. Whereas Rob is just feral and just scraps at it. He just sucks a fuck up the lane mode. <laughs> just drafting anyone he can. Yeah. Yeah, I just struggle to swim easy, but I think that's more muscular than anything. Yeah. I just find like I need to kick a lot. Kick a lot, yeah, 100%, because you don't get as many turns, do you? Yeah. I find that, and you have to deload the arms. Just got four weeks to go. <laughs> I'm, so. I'm not here for as long, but I find that, the same as Rob, long course really mashes my, my shoulders, so I have to bring in the kick a little bit more but try and minimise it as much as possible and use fins as much as possible to kind of ease my way into it. But either way, pretty tough, especially the first week whilst you're getting used to it. The muscular conditioning there works well. How are you finding the apartment? Pardon? How are you finding the apartment? Pretty nice. Yeah. Well, I burned this shit in our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> That's because burned. you let it in and drew right. it in with like, Robbie, like biscuits. Robbie drew it in with this. Then it came in and shot on the floor and flew out. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> we'll try and bring you more action from camp, but for now, we'll stick to swim advice. And then next week, I'll probably do a vlog on the camp. Ollie seems to like or prefer the vlogs because he's not very interested in what I have to say about general traffic and stuff. So, it's waffling. I am just waffling in general, but sometimes it's useful. So, yeah, I'll bring you a proper vlog of camp next week. I got one more thing to say. Oh, go on. If anyone's looking for a coach, message me. Or you can go via the entire PC or just message me. <laughs> Probably message me, it'd be best. <laughs> for a coach. It's... <laughs> if you are looking for a coach, entirepc.com or message me, Ollie. Or just anyone. Or, like, there's loads of coaches. Go for any of them. Anyone's a coach these days. No, me. Message me. Because <laughs> I'm your best bet. <laughs> Don't message Rob. He, he doesn't coach. Hello, coach. Well, you need a physio? Uh, 